What's an up for? For pooping, silly. That's actually not the best joke, but I'm gonna go with it. Welcome to Zero Reviews. Um, ignoring what those are, this is actually what's being reviewed today. It's the Shanling Up For. Shanling usually makes the little tiny players, the Shanling M1, the Shanling M0. There was another Shanling along the way. They're, they're usually like little portable PMPs or DAPs, however you want to call it. I don't know. Portable media players was a thing and then it stopped being a thing and then it became DAPs again, which is like digital audio player. Because everyone used to say MP3 player, but you know, hardcore audio files will never fucking use MP3. Fuck you. So um, here we are. This is essentially their competition to the BTR5. I, there's no way around it. I'm not going to skirt the issue. Here is my BTR5 in a DD Hi-Fi leather case. Ugh. Which I can uh, sort of get it out of, or maybe I just won't. Here it is. Boom. Done. County Com sticker. Here's a normal little plastic clip that goes in the back of the BTR5. BTR5, I uh, pretty much said, is the best sounding thing Fio's ever made. And Fio's made some good shit. I've got their new M15 here, which um, looks like an anchor power brick. Just, just want to say, this will probably not get stolen off your desk if you leave it like that. Because then it just looks like a power brick. Boom. Oh, I got a power brick? Boom. Um, so that means this is a fucking, com this is hard. So I could do a lot of things with it during a review, but having the sound of just water dribbling, just not, uh, welcome to Z reviews. I'm not stopping it. I've already got my... I haven't done a review in a while. I'm out of sorts. I gotta just get back into it. Look at the list here. You wanna see the list? I posted, I have a um, an Instagram that I don't use as often as I should, but I, I post interesting things from my cat or you know, a cool picture of like stuff. Anyway, I posted this to my Instagram, which is everything that I have in this house to review minus about 85% of the IMs because that list would be as long as this list. And this, this is not on this. The UP4 is not on this list because it was set up to go. So there's what I have left. <laughs> Let's just stick that to the $6,000 DAC amp. Um, where was I? This is a bar. If Fio did anything, it set the bar. And it set it way so fucking high here. There's where the fucking bar is. The odds of that staying there are very small. But so now, Shanling... I don't think they've had a previous Bluetooth receiver. I don't think they've had one just like sitting around that I've missed. So they come out with the Up4. And they... Here's the thing. It's on Amazon. I don't know who sent this to me. I, again, I'm very organized in a very disorganized way. And either Shanling sent this to me or like Hi-Fi Go or one of those companies sent it to me. And I'm gonna have to figure that out because if I go to Amazon and I look for the price for this, because it shows up and I'm like, all right, I'll review that. I see $99, which is like, oh, $99, that's a little bit cheaper than the BTR5. I know what their price range is. I know what they're aiming at. Then if you go to the other listing for it on Amazon, it's $160, which is wholly too much money. Wholly too much money for this. For almost any just Bluetooth dongle. A little bit more than that, and you, you get a fucking X-Duo, like a full-blown portable. So, I don't know. I'm going to link probably the cheaper one in the description, unless I figure out if there's a site that sent this to me. All right, let's minimize this. Pay attention to the lovely wallpaper. It's very good. It's very good. If all I had was Ear Studio 100s and BTR 3s and... Like the little MPOWs, this would be the king of the hill, no questions asked. Problem is, BTR5 exists, so I'm probably going to keep recommending the BTR5. This does have some interesting little features, though. Whereas the BTR5 has a screen, a little to actually go through menus and set filters, you can set filters on this. You can change high and low gain, which, oh, redaction. When I reviewed the BTR5, I said you had to click through the menu 55 times to get to the low gain, low high gain switch. It's actually false. 
someone corrected me. Apparently, when you get into the menu, pressing menu goes one way and pressing the other play pause button goes the other way, so you can go straight to the thing. You have to, it's just, it's, it's forward and backwards in the menu. Not many units this size would have a forward and backwards menu option. It did. I didn't realize that. My bad. God damn it. Battery change. And then I accidentally hit go. I'm having a good day. We're going to get through this though, everyone. Because uh, Zeus is having one of those days. Uh, okay, so what was I saying? I said uh, high low game. So on that, you have to go into the menu and then you got to navigate to the high low game and do it. This unit not having a screen, this ha I should give you the tour probably. Bottom, USB C, the end. This side, absolutely nothing. Very smooth. I like touching it. The end. Um, the fascia has a single LED that is RGB. It changes color to show you if it's charging, what mode it's set to, etc. Currently blinking green. There is a near field communication, so you can pair it by doing that. Oh, by the way, I'm control. I'm feeding everything off of the Lutu Paw 6000. So that's just sitting there being a very expensive DAP for the sole purpose of feeding Bluetooth to this and then controlling it. Uh, this side one button knob. It's a knob. It controls the volume with a knob, which is different from every other Bluetooth receiver and probably going to be if you decide to buy this. That's why, because knobs are amazing. The end. Um, and it also is your play, pause, and next track, last track, control. One, one thing, one, one thing. Can't fuck it up, one. And then the top has a mode button, which does the filter switching when you hold it. And it does the high-low gain switching. If you press it once, it shows blue, which means low gain, because these uh, Focals are not very demanding headphones as far as power. But then if I want to switch to my HD600s, you go tap, tap. Now it's green. Now it's high gain. Can't get fucking simpler than that. This unit is a simpleton. And I say that in the best way possible plug those in so now i got 300 ohm ac 600s on high gain uh we had paused the music or actually it detects when you unplug a unit pauses your music one press of the giant knob unpauses your music it actually i was worried how this knob was gonna f knob knobs and the way you control them like even on this lutu is like to get the feel right, to be like where that knob isn't just an annoyance, like I can reach up and I could just, just touch it and that's fine and then you can control it on screen. This knob, because at least a button in your pocket, you can just go boop, 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 and you're there. You have to get in usually with two fingers to control a knob. But this has been designed so that no matter which side you're on, I have no issue with my one finger whether it's a pointer or a thumb, just massaging that volume. So, I mean, uh, I currently have it out of its case. So, oh, back to what we have. So the top has a mode, a reset uh, thing for like putting a, a little hairpin in case it gets fucked up. 2.5 balanced out and 3.5 headphone out. So there is a difference in power. I'm only using 2.5s on this desk because if we're testing this unit we're going full out put this back in music is still paused press once the player gets the signal unpauses the music now it's playing again now here's there, there is a, a an issue let me pause it again that uh here's the instruction manual for the uh, or the quick start guide for the op4 and according to the manual there should be three power modes low gain high gain and boost mode and I can't get to boost mode because it's just double tap to go from low, double tap to high. I figured double tap again would bring me to boost, which would be a yellow indicator instead of blue and green. And it just doesn't go there. And I don't think this is more advanced than the firmware on this. So I'm not even going to like, unless you have to do something special that doesn't say in this book. Because it did, the book is very, very simple. It's like, do this. How do you say hit next track? Here's how you go to previous track. Um, play pause, single press. You know, it's, it's, I, 
I might like the shape of this better than the BTR5. Double press for next track. Now the next track is playing. What track is this? Oh, I haven't seen the Monogatari movies yet. And this is from the Monogatari movie soundtracks. And I'm just like, mm. But I went to the last track. It's one, two, three. Which has only taken me back to the beginning of the track because I didn't... There's previous track. Pause to press next track. Pause. I like how it'll pause, then change tracks, and doesn't unpause until you unpause. And by the way, I don't have boost mode on, but I have now nailed the volume on this. I don't believe this volume is affecting anything. Yeah, no, we're... Oh, wait, it does affect it. My bad, hold on. All right, so that's just at 100. But nailed. These are doing quite the job. I wish I could test that boost mode, but it don't exist. Um, if it was lacking anything, if it was lacking anything, I don't miss the screen. I honestly don't miss the screen from the BTR5. BTR5 screen, you sh it shows you a digital volume. It shows you where you are when you're hitting up. Oh, you're this out of 60. And you could go to the menu and you could change filters and you... It doesn't have a car mode. I don't believe it had a car mode. Which is something that may or may not matter to you. Call switch, pairing process. You can pair two things at the same time and have them switch between it. But it's a basic. Yeah. Pairing mode, on, off, standby. Standby. You can also run this to a computer. You can make it your little portable, just like the BTR5. Just like that. What you do is you plug it in USB first, then you turn on the the unit. In other words, if it's running, don't if you plug it in while it's running, it's not going to become a sound device for your computer. It's just going to charge. If you turn this off, plug it in, the computer's running, and then turn this on, then it will go and say, "Hey, I'm an audio device," and you could use it as such. And for a hundred dollars, that's pretty good. The lackluster thing is this case because the BTR5. Obviously, I've got it in this nice leather case with a little loopy loop handle. I can make it a, oh my God, I could put this on my keys. I could put this on my keys. And people are like, is that Mercedes key fob? And I'm like, nah, it's BTR5. I got a portable Bluetooth, bitch, bitch. I don't want to do that. I don't want to bulk up my keys with a BTR5. Do I? Do I want to let it? No, I'll be so cool. Anyway, the case it comes, it snaps on. You could snap it on in any orientation so that you could have the wires out the bottom or the wires out the top or the buttons on the left or the buttons on the right. That's BTR5 do good. Plus it's got a spring-loaded clip. Spring-loaded clip. The Shanling can only be loaded in one direction because they only have one cutout for the knob. And the clip is just a bending piece of plastic. And that kills it for me. Because that feels like you're going break. Like this, you could open up this big and then put your whole fucking pinky in there, or my pinky, which is even bigger than your pinky, I'm sure, in there. And it's like, all right, it's fine. There's no stress on it. If I were to jam my pinky under this, oh, I don't like, oh, I don't like the way that feels. No. So if you've got a thick pair of pants on, you're trying to get into the thing, I don't trust this nut to break. And trying to get to Shandling to say, hey, Shandling, send me a new one of these. I feel like, even feel, I wouldn't want to ask one of those, but Shandling with one of these, it's not like you can go to Best Buy and be like, hey, do you, you have a Shandling? They don't. They don't. So, if you put this on, be very careful with it. And it does just snap on. That's it. There's no there's no pomp and circumstance to the, to the, the, the case. I just hate that that's a fucking... It, it, it almost looks like it's replaceable the way it's like put together which would make sense because it's gonna break can i pull this out unless it's just the way they assembled it and they glue it together Th that's my, my i'm not concerned about this i feel like this is fine plus again places like dd hi-fi make cases because feel is a big enough brand it's popular enough people you know 10,000 people will own this. Maybe 500 of them might want the leather case for it. And they'll go and buy it. Shandling 
eh, not in America, they're not as popular. So you're stuck with the accessories that come with, basically. Um, I'm going to take it out of this case. It says Shanling. It's not, this is not poor quality. This thing's build is at least as good as the BTR5, if not better. Just the way the the, feel, the lineup is with the, the glass back and the front, both, both glass with the aluminum on the outside. It's, it sounds good. It sounds comparable to the levels of like BTR3, but with BTR5 power. But the BTR5 is amazing. And this is fucking solid. And if, if there was a chart, and I'm sure someone's gonna animate a chart now, where fucking solid is here, and amazing is a slightly little bit higher. All right. Oh, I could put a little collar on Chewbacca, and then you could have this hanging around your neck, or on your back, and you could be like a little portable Bluetooth cat. Do you want that? Yeah, she hears me talking to the ghosts, which is AKA you guys, and she's real concerned. Um, I really like this thing. I like it. It's about three months too late. Oh, let me switch back to low gain. There you go. Plug this in, unpause. If this came out in the summer of 2019, which it may have been out. Oh God, I love these headphones. That's another thing. Uh, I'm listening to the Bluetooth. Right? I've got the fucking Stellias on. I'm listening to it. That's perfect. It's perfect. Somebody came to me and was like, hey, I don't like the Bluetooth sound because it sounds compressed in the eyes. And I'm just like, have you heard anything new? Like BTR3, BTR5, the Shanling, any of the Q5s, anything that's running Bluetooth standards of 4.2 or higher, 4.1, anything that has HD, Aptex HD or LDAC. This is running LDAC currently to that. It's perfect. It's like as perfect as it needs to be. And they're compensating for any distortion, anything that's lacking. They, they know what, what Bluetooth is missing and they're filling in the gaps because that's what the companies are paid to do. Like that was a bell ringing. That's where it used to go, used to hear Bluetooth crunch. I had the volume up too loud. These are very sensitive headphones. I do enjoy just holding it and then scrolling the volume. This is a night. Nice, it's nice to have this. Con I would take this control over what the blue BTR five has. If I, if I'm giving this a win, it's the shape is a little bit more conducive for like, I guess I don't hate this. I would be holding it like this. If you're hand holding it, like I'm currently hand holding, this is fine. Get that Bluetooth fucking wheel going. Up, down, up, down. Next track. I prefer the controls on this to the BTR5. And the sound is comparable to the BTR3 or anything slightly below this. But this still wins. BTR5 wins. I'm actually gonna disconnect this. I have things to do. I have like, obviously I have things to do, but I might take time out of my fucking schedule and just listen to the BTR5 again, just because I want to hear Stelios in the BTR5 more than like a split second. Oh god, life! I can't even do things I like because I got to do things I got to do. Like my cat. Wait, I'm not doing my cat. Where is she? Have I been abandoned? I feel so alone now. All right. There's nothing else I have to say about it. It's not a complicated unit, and it, it sounds worth its cost. 100% worth 100 bucks. 100? 60? It's getting like, well, what are you doing for me that's special? It doesn't do 3D. It doesn't have bass boost. Like, if it did some other IFI levels of shit, maybe 160? But no. 100? Worth it. Quality unit for $100. Unfortunately, BTR5 is 110, so it's like, why? 
but links to that regardless. That wallpaper in the description. Subscribe Star and Patreon, two ways you can support this channel, so you get to see all these reviews early. Um, I've been playing catch up for reasons. I uh, Christmas came, then there was New Year's, I had friends over, I had family over, so I don't work when they're here, so I try to get like six or seven reviews done, up to Patreon, and then dribble them out. So now you're getting like eight reviews at a time getting dumped on you. And if you have the time to watch them, you have the time to watch them. If not, um, the $5 tier also gets you into the yard sale. I'll probably put the Shanling in the yard sale, except I might ask my family if anybody else wants it, because it's quality, it's convenient, and I got it for free. So, I mean, if you want to buy it in the yard sale, there you go. $5 tier gets you into Caesar Reviews Early, yard sale, first of the 10th, name your own price, I ship free, continental United States, half shipping international. Um... There's also, you can also ask me any questions you want on the platforms. Subscribe star is a little weird. I have to wait for an email to show up to tell me that someone messaged me there. Otherwise, I gotta navigate like a weirdo. Um, I usually answer questions on the platforms once a week. Once a week, I'll sit down and go through like 30 email, 30 messages, because I don't want to do them every day. It's, if you wanted me to answer your questions every day, that's the $10 tier, get you into the private Telegram chat. That works for either Subscribe Star or Patreon. You support at that level, you get on my phone. Uh, private access to me. If you have anything very, very specific, you could PM me, but I prefer if it stays in the group chat because there's 160 other people in there who all have opinions and I want to hear theirs as well as mine. You know, it's nice to get like a group think going on for that, for problem solving. Um, I, I'll link to everything on this table. Zeus, future Zeus. Link to 600s, link to the Stelias, even though I don't think anyone's going to buy them specifically from this video. But a uh, link to the site you got those from. I'll pet my cat. There she is. I knew I wasn't alone. I will link to the Shanling either on Amazon or on some other site that maybe has more consistent pricing. And the BTR5, I'll obviously link to, and DD Hi Fi for their case. And then I'm going to go do this. I'm going to do what's next? Mini DSP Hears, nah, HG300 Pros. The Monoprice THX amp, that's buried down there. You know what? Let's put some speakers in this desk. I've got to review two amplifiers. Ready, Chewbacca? Let's fuck up this world. See you tomorrow.